What was the inspiration and the intention for writing your book, A Daily Gratitude Journal, Think in Possibilities? So remember that book is not really a book. It is simply a line journal. And my, my inspiration for creating such a tool is really a belief in um, there are very concrete practices that research tells us um, improves the well-being and mental health of each one of us. And one of those practices is keeping a gratitude list, daily being intentional about maybe each morning or each night or both, even writing down three things to which you are grateful or for which you are grateful in the morning or three things in the evening um, when you reflect on your day, what you're grateful for. Um, doing that over a period of time, research shows us that it has an absolute positive impact on our overall well-being and mental health. So I'm wanting to create all sorts of tools like that. I also happen to be a person who has written in a journal since I was 13 years old and know for sure that it saved my life throughout as a, in some ways, a sacred practice of journaling. Most definitely, it was the space in which I had a voice. And it was the way that I made sense of what was happening in my life along the way. So I'm wanting to really support other people to know that there are some very simple practices that pack a big punch in terms of our outcomes and our overall well-being and mental health and daily journaling, free writing, daily journaling with very specific prompts, daily journaling that has a focus on gratitude, those things are absolutely helpful. So I'm really in the process of trying to create all sorts of, you know, line journals, prompted journals, um, and specific journals to help people pick up these practices. Right. Yeah, I love the way you say sacred. And uh, that's so important to create this experience where we can voice our feelings. What is that about writing that it's so healing? Yeah, I... I don't know, but that beyond knowing what I know from the inside out, having been a person who's used writing as a way to take care of myself and to understand my life and to make sense of my life. As I said, I started writing in a journal when I was 13 years old. At age 32, one summer in writing in my journal, out popped a poem and it surprised the heck out of me and I loved it. And in my whole life from 13 to 32, I never saw myself as a writer at all. Writing was for me, was about making my way in the world. But at 32, when this poem pops out, and by the way, it was called Joy, I went around showing my friends, look at this poem. Oh my goodness, I love this poem. And I never had considered or even remembered taking a course in poetry ever. But it sent me right to the local um, writer's workshop called The Loft. It's an organization that does writing classes. And I took, I don't know how many beginning poetry classes and would find myself in the aisles of, you know, um, Barnes and Noble looking at all the poetry books. And right during that same time, I learned of something that was new to me, which was spoken word poetry. And I knew immediately that spoken word poetry, which is so rooted in marginalized voices having a space to be heard, that spoken word poetry would speak to the kids that I was working with at the time in the same public schools. And so that moment in time, writing a poem in my journal for the first time, seeing myself as, oh my gosh, maybe, I, maybe I'm a poet, maybe I'm a writer. And that shift from a personal practice to take care of myself shifted to Maybe I have some doors to open for kids. Launched a whole nother level and layer of my professional work, integrating poetry and poetry therapy and poetry and writing as a way of healing into my school social work practice with middle school and high school age kids. It was a game changer for me. Yeah, yeah, it makes so much sense. That goes back to um, what we talked earlier about the idea of God being this personal experience. So writing seems to bring that kind of um, space uh, so we can connect with this higher force, divine force. Right. Years ago, and when I was in therapy myself, which I've been in therapy my whole life because I'm a lifer and just that has been a vehicle for which I've come to make sense of my world and to find my way. I remember um, struggling to come out to my first therapist and I remember her saying to me, who do you think I am? You know, you're here and I'm here for you to be able to talk out loud with yourself. 
And that's how she really saw the experience of therapy. And I think writing and poetry therapy, journal therapy, it's very similar. It's this is a vehicle to which I can talk out loud to myself and maybe to a higher being and to make sense of the world, make sense of my daily life in a sacred container, in a healing space, in um, a trusted arena. Right.